What in the world is happening to our sun? Michael Snyder reports. We could not survive without the giant ball of fire that our planet revolves around, and so the stability of our sun is of the utmost importance. Unfortunately, it has started to behave very erratically lately. Scientists are telling us that they think everything is just fine, but the truth is that they don't really know. We are witnessing activity that is truly unusual, and I believe that should deeply alarm all of us. In fact, I'm entirely convinced that the behavior of the sun will become a really big story in the years ahead. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Last month, a portion of the sun's northern pole actually broke off and created a massive polar vortex. The sun has been experiencing bizarre behavior lately. Recently, in February, a piece of its northern pole broke off. A video shows a giant filament of plasma or electrified gas shooting out from the sun, separating and then circulating in a massive polar vortex. While astronomers are baffled, they speculate the prominence has something to do with the reversal of the sun's magnetic field that happens once every solar cycle. The size of this polar vortex was absolutely astounding. It has been reported that it was 74,500 miles high and 14 times larger than our Earth. The incredible moment a colossal solar tornado that is 14 times larger than Earth swirls on the sun's surface has been captured by NASA in a video. The twister, composed of plasma and heat, measured more than 74,500 miles high and moved up to 310,000 miles per hour. Is this behavior normal? Scientists don't really know because they have never seen anything quite like this before. A few weeks later, we witnessed an absolutely colossal coronal mass ejection that traveled away from the sun at a speed of at least 3,000 kilometers per second. Late Monday night, March 13, the sun blasted out a coronal mass ejection traveling at 3,000 kilometers per second. That's 6,700,000 miles per hour, possibly the fastest ever recorded. The expelled particles reached the Earth's orbit in less than a day. Had they hit the Earth, the results could have been catastrophic, but fortunately the CME was directed almost directly opposite. However, the explosion is a reminder the next time we may not be so lucky. Dr. C. Alex Young tweets, Holy mackerel, this was a huge fast event from the other side of the sun, an extremely fast and rare CME, 3,000 kilometers per second, 6.7 mega uh, 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 miles per hour, as fast as if not faster than the fastest CME, like the famous Carrington event, could be the big one for the cycle, but we have to wait. This coronal mass ejection was so powerful that NASA actually classified it as an R for rare. The good news is that this eruption happened on the far side of the sun away from us. Even though the CME erupted from the opposite side of the sun, its impacts were felt at Earth, NASA said, as CMEs blast through the space, they create a shock wave that can accelerate particles along the CME's path to incredible speeds, much the way surfers are pushed along by an incoming ocean wave. If the Earth had been facing the coronal mass ejection, it could have potentially caused another character event. The potentially catastrophic CME has been compared to the character event, the most intense geomagnetic storm in recorded history, peaking from September 1st to 2nd in 1859. That event knocked out the internet of the time with telegraph systems all over Europe and North America failing. In some cases, operators received electric shocks and telegraph pylons threw sparks. NASA previously said a similar storm today could have a catastrophic effect on modern power grids and telecommunication networks. If you've been following my work for years, then you already know that I have been warning about such a catastrophe, uh, catastrophe for ages. Scientists assure us that it is just a matter of time before our planet experiences another Carrington event, and such a disaster could literally fry electronics all over the globe. Just imagine what society would look like today if the power grid was destroyed and there was suddenly no internet for anyone. Well, not only internet, but all, all electrical appliances wouldn't work. 
Can you imagine the complete and utter chaos that would create? The near miss that we just experienced should have made major headlines all, all over the world, but instead it only made a minor blip in the news cycle. But someday we will take a direct hit and in that moment everything will change. Before I end this article, there are two other items of astronomic interest that I wanted to mention. First, I found it quite interesting that scientists have discovered that the deep interior of our planet is wickedly hot. Researchers on Tuesday said an intensive study of Earth's deep interior based on the behavior of seismic waves from large earthquakes confirmed the existence of a distinct structure inside our planet's inner core, a, wicked, a wickedly hot innermost solid ball of iron and nickel about 800 miles wide. Secondly, we're being told that an asteroid that is approximately 200 feet long will fly past our planet at about half the distance from the surface of the planet to the moon on Saturday. Astronomy fanatics may be in for a treat this Saturday as an estimated 200-foot asteroid is expected to zip past Earth in about half the distance from the surface of the planet to the moon, according to a report. EarthSky.org, a website that specializes in science-based reporting about the cosmos, reported that asteroid 2023, which means it was discovered this year, 2023 DZ2, will make its closest approach to Earth on March 25th at about 3.52 p.m. EDT at a speed of 17,403 miles per hour. That is actually a very close call. Thankfully, this one is not going to hit us. But if you have read my books, then you already know why I keep a very close eye on any asteroids that are potential threats. We live at a time where very strange things are happening above our heads. The clock is ticking, and one of these days our luck may be running out. This is by Michael Snyder. He says about the author, my name is Michael. My brand new book entitled End Times is now available on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I've written six other books that are available on Amazon, including Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of the Future of America, The Beginning of the End, and Living a Life That Really Matters. When you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to family and friends. Time is short, and I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I've published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream, and the Most Important News. And the articles that I publish on those sites are published on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they include this about the author section with each article. The material contained in this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal, business, financial, or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter. And any way that you can share these articles with others is definitely a great help. These are such troubled times and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. This is on the Nicolomic Collapse blog by Michael Snyder, please, please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.